In the last few months, crypto has been the hottest topic. I've got loads of spam in the comment and channels are they're probably scammers. And if you're wondering if you should buy crypto, my straight answer to you is no. Unless you understand the market sentiment behind the crypto space, you understand the potential between the difference between market trades and real world usage, the answer is no. Hello guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day depending on where you're watching this from. So buying crypto has become easier and easier. And back in the day when I first bought my first Bitcoin, it was a long process and everything was sketchy as We had to transfer money to a platform which looks really dodgy and then set up a wallet, write down the key phrases, etc. But these days, exchange are getting more secure and they act as a hot wallet for most people. So buying and selling tokens or coins become a much easier task. But wait a second, buying tokens or coins can be easy, but do you know what you're actually buying? And there are probably more coins than stocks out there in the market and many are probably a Ponzi, a scam or a straight up rug pull. And therefore, my suggestion is not to buy crypto unless you have done extensive research. If you thought researching on stocks and companies are tough, crypto requires a lot more work. So if you are new and you have no idea what a cryptocurrency is or what an altcoin is, in very simple terms, cryptocurrency is a virtual or digital currency. And even though some companies have created credit cards like this to enable real world spending, most of these cryptocurrencies are intangible, meaning you cannot see or touch them physically. An altcoin is a type of cryptocurrency that is modeled after Bitcoin. So essentially, there's Bitcoin and altcoins. Anything that isn't Bitcoin is more or less considered an altcoin. And when you hear people say, it's alt season, this means the bulls are moving their money from Bitcoin into altcoins. Though you might be tempted to join the alt season and put like 100 bucks into a coin in hopes to get a 10x to $1,000. I've got to burst that little bubble of yours because there are more than 4,000 different tokens and coins out there and chances of picking the right one for the 10x is, is almost impossible. So before embarking on your Mooncraft into the crypto universe, one should ensure that they got their finances settled. Things like 6 to 12 months of income saved, stable portfolio and protection. So two of the ways that I'm earning crypto passively uh, is through these two programs. The first one is called Binance Earn. And if you haven't heard of the biggest exchange in the world, you might want to read up a little bit more. So Binance is the largest exchange in the world and they probably have the most coins that you are looking for to trade with. I have left links in the description so you're able to sign up with them and start your crypto journey. So once you're on Binance platform, there's a function called Binance Earn on the app. And by accessing this function, you're able to deposit your crypto and start earning interest, which is then paid out in crypto. Um, however, that some of it requires a minimum entry requirement and hence one should do some research before putting your money in. So to me, it's like a fixed deposit for cryptocurrencies. I have three different coins in there, which is BNB, BTC, and VET. And they pay very different interest rates over time. So the token that I want to highlight here is actually VChain uh, because VChain produces VTOR token, which you can sell on Binance and task allowing you to compound your crypto letting you earn more moolah. So on top of Binance Earn, I also loan crypto via BlockFi. This allows me to earn crypto passively and it compounds my crypto over time. Using BlockFi is pretty straightforward. You just gotta deposit the crypto you wish to loan out into the platform and the rest is done for you automatically. So I've left links in the description if you wanna find out a little bit more about what they do. Crypto as an investment instrument that holds very very high risk and the market is very volatile. It's not a tool for somebody who cannot sleep if they know that their money is at risk or someone that has no financial stability. Because some of these tokens can grow 20 to 40% overnight, but then again, it can dump to 50% the next morning. And of course, there are some tokens who are rug pull, which means that these token creators make the token. They create a hype, promise high interest or high returns. And one day they just pull the plug and take all the money that's been invested into the project. 
personally for me there are three main coins that i'm holding and it's because i see the potential in these coins uh, however these are my own opinions and not financial advice so the first project is one that i just mentioned earlier which is vchain with the ticker vet so vchain is actually a token that creates digital passports for luxury products and they put them onto the blockchain which makes them immutable so for example if i were to purchase this bottle of uh, whiskey or wine, the only way I can ensure that it's legit and not counterfeit is based on the distillery or the vineyard. However, there might be a chance that the vineyard might give me a low grade product for the money I paid for. So what VeChain does is it creates an NFC chip that can be put onto the buckets every time it's used to collect the raw materials to create whiskey. And the chips are scanned and the details are stored in the blockchain which can be accessed via an app. And the app will show that the grapes were plucked when they were washed, when they were stored, and what temperatures they were stored at. Then VeChain will supply corks that will contain the NFC chips that embedded inside. These corks will hold information of when this was bottled, when it left the vineyard, what's the journey it took before landing into my hands. And once you cork open the bottle, it breaks the NFC chip and that prevents the counterfeit from happening. Next up, we have BNB or Binance token. As the token of the exchange, they themselves release a BSC or Binance Smart Chain and this allows other projects to build on the chain and create new technologies and solutions for the world. With DeFi becoming more popular and a lot of people using the Binance network, this means that the price of BNB might increase because that is the general token uh, to pay your gas fee on and with the increased demand and the limited supply, I see a value that this might even go up a lot higher than what it is now. Last but not least, we got a good old Bitcoin. And this is nothing new and probably everyone is familiar with it. And I believe that there will be space for Bitcoin to go even higher and this might take a couple of years to happen unless something drastic happens to our financial systems that we have right now. So that's the end of today's video and if you're still around, thank you so much for staying till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications and I'll see you in the next episode.